What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. As you can see, the struggle is real. I am out of some GFO, I use GFO. And uh, I got hooked up from my buddy Paul. I went over to his house, checked out his tank. Uh, I should have recorded the conversation, did an update of his uh, 90 gallon. But when I went, he gave me some uh, GFO, brand new, a big old tub of it for free. So I also picked up some uh, Pond Matrix. Um, from my buddy and uh, I'm gonna use it for my 24 gallon cube and also for the 120 um, I did end up taking a few things I took a few frags and I also took uh, a bunch of filter socks that I did not want to clean the reason I picked up a bunch of pond matrix um, as you can see he just hooked this up uh, straight from his 90 gallon and the reason why I picked it up is because the last time I was hanging out well, my buddy D, D is the uh, dude with the 400 gallon reef tank. Uh, we were talking and we we're looking at the 24 gallon, and he was like, you know what? You don't have a whole lot of live rock. Uh, you're skimming. You're not skimming as wet as you should because I've been having an algae problem with this uh, 24 gallon. So since I don't have a whole lot of live rock, I'm gonna use the pond matrix. And I'm gonna put the pond matrix. I'm just gonna stuff that uh, media tray that I have. And I actually got that from my buddy Paul as well. If you haven't seen it, uh, I'll send a li little link for you. Uh, you can check out his 90 gallon. And what he did was he stuffed the pond matrix inside the BRS dual reactors. And then he's using that as the uh, reactor to take nitrates and nitrite out of his system, which is awesome. And the way it does that is because beneficial bacteria lives in the pond matrix kind of like the live rock, you know, and the beneficial bacteria is going to eat a lot of uh, junk off of your, in your tank. Um, you know, without beneficial bacteria, it doesn't do the whole cycle that you need in your aquarium, like eating ammonia, eating all the detritus, eating just, it does so much for your tank. And this is a straight up uh, look at what has happened. Um, my frags are ugly. As you can see, um, just full and covered with algae. And what I've been doing is carbon dosing. Um, I've been carbon dosing with vinegar. I've been adding a few ml every day. I've been using uh, phosphate RX. I've used a toothbrush. Um, and as you can see, it just looks like crap. Now, I've been carbon dosing in the 120. I've been dosing with uh, vinegar. Um, a lot of people do it with bio pellets. Me, personally. I hate bio pellets, it's just a mess. You need a reactor for it. Um, and if you don't have your bio pellets right, it can, it can just destroy your system. Um, so what I like to use is regular plain old vinegar because I can use it to clean out my system. And of course, uh, just clean equipment. Uh, vinegar is awesome. But as you can see, the algae is on these frag plugs really, really good. So stick around in this video and I'm going to show you what I did to combat this. So basically you got to find the source, right? And the source is more than likely your skimmer is not good enough. You are overfeeding. You do not have enough flow. Uh, you're, you have, uh, or you don't have enough live rock, which is probably the case of mine. Another thing that uh, is lacking is a cleanup crew. Uh, instead of going out and buying a big old cleanup crew for the 24-gallon uh, tank, which I meant to do, I just didn't get around to going to the LFS to do that, I took these frag racks out of my 24-gallon and straight up put it in my uh, 120. The reason why is because I have three tangs in my 120, and uh, these tangs are just going to go to town and do damage to these. Um, when I put the frag rack, that was... Uh, uh, 24 hours and then 24 hours later you can see that they cleaned them up really really good these frag plugs were just full of algae now another thing that I want to go ahead and bring up is I mentioned the use of GFO now when you use GFO in your reef tank the best way to do it is with a reactor uh, you want to have it as a gentle tumble but you really need to be careful because if you use GFO real fast, um, real quick, even if you use the recommended dose for your tank, you can strip a lot of nutrients from your system. 
So what happens when you strip a lot of nutrients to your system? Your SPS, uh, your softies or whatever, LPS, probably mainly LPS and SPS, um, they are going to bleach. They're going to bleach quick. So just be careful with using GFO or, or with anything. Even if it's the recommended dose, you want to add it to your system slowly. Now here's a look at my frag racks now. I'm going to go ahead and keep them in the 120. And the reason why I'm going to keep them in the 120 is just to give my fish in the 24 gallon more room to swim. This 24 gallon was just completely full of frag racks. So I kind of felt bad because the fish um, really didn't have a whole lot of room to swim. Uh, this is a couple of days later as you can see. And they have done a good job. I'm still going to go to the fish store and pick up some snails. I'm thinking of maybe like three or four more turbos or a combination of uh, turbos and smaller snails. But as you can see, it looks good. And uh, the snails will just go ahead and clean it up. The fish have just done a great job doing it, cleaning up this, these racks, and everything is looking good. So there you go, guys. Hope this video has been helpful. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. And you guys take care. Have a good one, guys.